In this episode of Stay at Jailbreak, we're going to be going over the new Untethered Jailbreak for iOS 5. Recently, Chronic Dev Team member Pod2G posted a video of an iPod Touch 3rd generation on iOS 5.0 with an untethered jailbreak. If you guys keep up with the show, you'll know a few weeks back Pod2G tweeted that he had found an untethered exploit, and it does look like he finally does have it up and running. Now while what was demo was an iPod Touch 3rd generation on iOS 5.0, this should work on both 5.0.1 as well as newer devices, most likely even the iPhone 4S and iPad 2. This is going to be what's known as a user land jailbreak. What that means, just put very simply, is that Apple will be able to patch this in a future firmware update. So it is very, very important to not update your devices, especially once it comes out. Apple will most likely provide a patch, which will totally kill any chance that you have of getting an untethered jailbreak. There's no ETA when to expect this, but definitely stay tuned as I will be posting a full tutorial as soon as it is released. In other news, Muscle Nerd from the iPhone dev team tweeted that there's going to be an upcoming Red Snow update that will work with Tiny Umbrella to allow you to downgrade your firmware. Of course, in iOS 5, Apple did patch the flaw that allows you to downgrade your firmware using what was known as SHSH blobs. The next version of Red Snow will be available soon. However, you can go ahead and get your iOS 5.0.1 SHSH blobs saved right now. All you need to do is go to the link in the description and download Tiny Umbrella. It is available for both PC and Mac, and all you need to do is plug your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad into your computer, open up Tiny Umbrella, and allow it to save your SHSH blobs. And if there are any new updates to any of the things I talked about today, I'll have an annotation on the top left of the screen that will keep you up to date. The tweak of the week is lock screen multitasking. This is a very simple free tweak that allows you to get your multitasking bar straight from your lock screen. Just double tap your home button, and you can immediately jump to any app you like, instead of unlocking and then finding it. Lock screen multitasking is free in Cydia. Anyway guys, that's going to be about it for this week's episode of State of Jailbreak. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And if you want to be kept up to date with all the latest jailbreaking news, be sure to subscribe.